Hey friends, up here in the studio and uh, was uh, looking at some more Christmas songs. Someone had mentioned uh, Joy to the World. I think you even said you had to play it uh, this coming Sunday, as in tomorrow if you're watching this video today. Um, so I'm going to try to help. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't jot down who said that. Is it John, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly go through this. Uh, and uh, so the, the key to this song, it's a faster song. And there's like a couple little hooks that you kind of have to know if you're going to play the uh, version from the Tomlin um, Glory in the Highest record. Um, so the opening riff starts with this kind of big drum fill. And then we're going to start with this like octave part. So we're in the key of D. If you're just playing rhythm guitar, it's just like a... opening chords um, and then the part is this octave part so we're gonna play starting on uh, D string and B string okay same note just the octave now if you if you can't get the hang of the octave thing what you could do I meant to put an octave uh, pedal in my in my chain you could have an octave pedal and just play like like the notes you know just like the play that with just an octave pedal on and it would kind of do the same trick or you could even add in the, the D string lower this so you can see my fingers you know, that'd be one way to do it uh, the way I play it is up here I'm actually playing the octaves with my fingers and I might have even had a pog on I can't remember when we recorded this this is, I think, pre-micro pog. Uh, I might have had the big pog on my pedal board. And it might be the chime upper register thing might be on top of the octave. So I might be playing this with an octave pedal on, which would make it sound even uh, more, you know, more octaves. Okay, so starting here. Climbing up. Uh, so that's a 7th fret D string, 10th fret B string. Okay. And then we're going to slide the whole thing two frets up so nine and twelve and then we're going to slide up again now this is the root note that's your d and high d so that's the key you're in right that's the key we're playing in so and then we're going to slide up again two frets and then again two frets this is getting kind of up there, so your intonations get, might, 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 might be kind of wacky, which maybe the octave pedal would help you if your guitar is not set up um, to handle that. But so the whole thing, would, it's got these pushes, so it's kind of you're playing that straight rhythm on your right hand, but your left hand is pushing the notes a little bit. So two, three, four. Got it? So. with the uh, track here. All right, so you got it. So it's over those chords. I think I had maybe one like quarter note uh, quarter note delay on just to kind of make it thicker. Yeah, something like that. All right, then we're going to drop down into the verse. Um, so it's just right off the top. Joy to the world, right? Right off the top. Here we go. So I go. So let earth. I hit a lot in that verse and um, it just kind of happens over again over I'm gonna drop this again so it's like uh, so I'm just playing like uh, it's like this chord it's basically just an octave right 
It's our D, but just all the way up here. So I'm just playing, I'm borrowing this note, the A against the open D string. So the whole point of this like chuggy thing is just to have some energy on those verses. Right, like that kind of vibe. And then when you get to the four chord, you're playing the G, like a bar chord, and then to the A. And then when it gets to the minor, I play like a, over the minor. Okay? So four, let earth receive. I'm just waiting for those little spots where there's a, a, a gap in the vocal, and then uh, you might even add a layer of overdrive to make it a little, to little make it a little more chunky if you wanted. And then when it gets to the let heaven and nature sing, once again I'm going to fall in the gaps between the vocal. Heaven and nature sing, I go. So I'm trying to get this guitar close enough to your face. All right, here we go. All right, heaven and nature sing. You're just kind of falling down the scale, like major scale. And then again on the four. And then when it gets down to that part, we're going to drop down to a G. That's the big, let head, very real big. So that's the E minor, G, E minor, A. That's on nature, and then back to the. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can hear, if you can hear where this is all falling. that's kind of all falling in right uh, and then the choruses uh, there's kind of two parts you can play um, there's this main kind of hook that's following falling after the downbeat uh, so when we get to the joy unspeakable joy uh, it's like um, it's up here as part of this chord like the uh, the D and then our G Use those chords a lot uh, and I'm gonna borrow these two up here and the little part is just right you could also play it up here in fact that's tonally that sounds like that's where that's sitting I may have tracked it up there and um, Sometimes I'll use that scrapey pick thing to kind of get that. So it's just you're up here on that D. Right? And I'm just scraping that little. Okay. I guess you could have a delay or something or some verb maybe. Two, three, four, one. than that so I usually skip that part if you've got two guitar players one could grab that or a keys player maybe piano player can have that in fact on the record there might be a, a double of that with the piano um, but if it's just me playing what I'll often do I'm still there often what I'll do is I'll just play the part okay often what I'll do is I'll just play the part like this me 
like some energy and I'm just playing the G. So the way I play G up there would be like this. And then to the uh, one chord, and I'll add in the open D. And then overflowing well. And then back to the G. Right? So that kind of gets us through um, those main chords and the choruses. Uh, but then uh, there's, a, there's a key change that comes. And right before the key change, let's see what we're going to get to here. All right, there's the key change. So what we're doing there is Never Let's Me Go is... Um, uh, an E minor. And then you're up to a big E chord. That's kind of my one of my favorite parts of the song because you just get to hit like a big E. So it'd be E minor. That may look like an E minor. I'm just muting. I'm muting the G string there. Okay, then we're in a new key. Um, and this part's kind of tricky because um, you're playing all new chords. Uh, but it's all the same chords, it's just you have to transpose. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, when I hit that big chord, a lot of times I'll throw a, a delay on, just kind of make it real big. And then as he's singing that verse in the new key, I start kind of doing like a... There's a little melody that I play. So you can hear what I'm doing there, hopefully. Uh, it's the same little walk down uh, scale thing we did when we were in the key of D, uh, but instead I'm playing um, the, everything on the B string and I'm letting the E string ring out. So I'm going. Right? And then there's the. Um, going into the um going into the big chorus again now when we get to the big chorus again i've got to play all my up high chords again so if you're playing the part if there's two guitar players you're near now up here right or if you're not playing that you could play these open strings now uh you can play it this way same thing we did down here but i'm just going to slide it up so that's the four chord the a string up. Let it ring and play this chord. I'm letting the E string ring. Maybe not on maybe not on the five chord. You can hear those chords working. Okay, so it's all you're just playing around in this little all with the open E string. Now the end of the song, uh, if you're gonna play the end of the song uh, hook in the new key, you gotta really climb. So you're gonna start here. Now you don't, <laughs> that's the that's one way to play it. Or you can try to play the octaves. Pretty high up there, so if you can't do that, 
no big deal. You could play, um, I used to play. Like that. And all I'm doing is just staying in one spot. But I'm playing. a two note version of that. All right. <laughs> a lot of information there. Uh, but yeah, just kind of, just a couple little uh, hook note things in there. Uh, someone had mentioned wanting to learn that. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I tried to get this out to you before Sunday, but you know, here it is. Uh, a little bit late on Saturday, but we tried. All right. Thanks guys.